Very different, different size, different weight kind of objects. Very dangerous. About to get a little medieval up in here. And a Game of Thrones, ladies and gentlemen, first I want to introduce you to my battle axe. Nope. I'll prove to you how sharp this battle axe is. To do this, I brought with me, I think I did, yep. Get another lovely red apple from the Garden Cafe. Place it right here on the cutting board. Got the battle axe. Don't blink because it happens very fast. Right here. Whoa! Did you see it? Just in case you blink, I'll do it again. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Almost perfectly right in half. I need to with the quarters right here. Battle axe. Boom! Oh, but it was just a little, little apple chip. <laughs> Alright, next up. I want to introduce you to, yep, my cleaver. His name is Beaver. So stupid. <laughs> you know what? Meat cleavers always fascinated me, even as a kid, because they're so different looking from any other knife that you see, any other object really in the kitchen. It's got this strange shape to it, and it's the only one that has a hole in the corner. It used to drive me nuts. Why, why there was a hole in this knife, and there weren't any others, and I finally Googled it. And looked it up and it turns out the reason that the hole is there is that when the butcher when he's done chopping the meat to get out of the way he, there's a hook up there and he can hang it by the hole in there and it's out of the way while he deals with the meat and butchers call this the cleaver hole and once i heard that i was just really glad it wasn't in the axe <laughs> what i didn't say anything all right i want to prove to you how sharp the cleaver was and i have yes another apple from the Garden Cafe. We'll put it here once again. Don't blink, it happens very fast. Here we go, we've got a cleaver on the cutting board. Oh, ooh, that one didn't quite go in half. Right, right, right off the side there. Just to get it once, in case you want to blink a little one more time right here. Oh, that one was better. Here we go, we've got another little apple chip. All right, lastly, rounding off this terrifying trio, I would like to present to you, just all over everything, I would like to introduce you to the single most terrifying object I have ever attempted to toss into the air. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, here it is. The scythe, or sickle. I only have one. It's a unicycle. <laughs> okay. So we got the sickle. Um, I don't have any apples left, but I really do want to show you how sharp this is. So I brought with me the natural enemy to any sharp object. Ladies and gentlemen, the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Too many cigars. Okay, so we get the balloon float up, tighten that off, and we'll put that on the cutting board. We get the sickle, and I'm going to prove to you how sharp the sickle is. Here we go. <laughs> We've got the cleaver, we've got the battle axe. Quite simply, the idea is I'm gonna throw each one of these up into the air and then run away as fast as I can. No! I'm gonna throw them up in the air and hope they don't come back down. No! We know they're gonna come back down because of gravity. And you know what I do for a living and that's my job, so you know what I'm gonna to try to do with them. So we've got all three objects. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get, whoa. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> okay, we got <laughs> All three up in the air. Once again, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. It'll take a lot more than that to get me to do this. Are you ready? Yeah. Up in the air. Oh, wait a minute. One more quick one. I got this from one of you guys. What do you call this? It's a butcher ordering four bears. <laughs> I didn't say this was going to be a funnier routine. I just said it'd be more dangerous. Here we go. Battle axe, sickle, meat cleaver. Into the air. Once again, I do have one more routine to show you guys, but before I go, 
I want to remind you, in case you forgot, Jeff the Juggler across all media, that's how you find me. Um, maybe you'll see in the airport on the way home. No, I'm getting off tomorrow uh, also, and um, I'm telling you that now because I want you to all know that it is scheduled that I'm leaving. I think for anyone to think that it's a result of this evening's performance. <laughs> it's supposed to be going. But before I go, once again, I want to thank you guys for being such a wonderful audience. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And lastly, I'd like to leave you with a little bit of balance. And here we go.